untold stories. And soon we are going to take a drive up to the Lassifer volcano in Saint and the Grenadines. This right now we are on the trail to the Lassifer volcano in Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. Many persons don't know the road going in from the countryside, so we are going to show you. Give you a little tour up to the Lasso Fair Volcano in St. Vincent. The road here needs fixing. Seeing that this is a tourist site, you can see a lot here. That it needs a lot of work. There's the excavation site at the Rabukajai River, where they mine for sand and so on. Yeah, we are going up to the Lasso Fair Volcano. Taking a drive up. We're just going to show the tourists what is actually going on here in St. Vincent. Yeah. Today we are taking a tour on the trail to the Lasso Fray Volcano in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So if you have never been there on the countryside now, you are seeing it live and direct. Uh, here we have some agricultural lands. Back into the lands right now, you can see there still is a lot of ash. So we don't know how the farmers are coping with all this ash. We have to take it slow because persons have complained in the past that we were moving a bit too fast. So we are going a bit camera so we don't want to show them the last have you been home to St. Vincent and the Grenadines this beautiful island luscious cheese see how beautiful St. Vincent is when last have you been home time to take a tour home so we are on the trail to the last of River volcano you can see that we have a few potholes uh, very beautiful on a Sunday morning we are driving up to the coast, uh, to the Lassa Fre Volcano. We have taken the route at Rabuka. The next time we do a video like this, we are going to take a tour from the Richmond side. We are going by boat via the Baga area to take a tour. So we are taking a drive. We want to show the tourists that you know the road is not so bad because I've seen some roads on an episode on YouTube called the most dangerous roads and so on and some of those roads are really bad but here in St. Vincent we don't have those type of roads this we would say is a one way lane but two vehicles can pass at a time on this one and we don't see many traffic on a Sunday so it's nice you can cruise up there you yeah, want to show um tourists have reached out to untold stories asking for a tour of the volcano so we are going to show them that the road is good and they can come anytime Right now, uh, St. Vincent has lost a lot of revenue, so we are trying to promote St. Vincent on a different level. We have to promote our island in order to get back on our feet, because no jobs are being provided by the regime. So we ourselves have to provide our own jobs, and there's a lot of jobs for tour guides. Because right now, I'm sure a lot of man is doing well, and I am giving PJ some tours as well. We have some bookings, a lot of bookings coming for April from a lot of tourists and so on. So we want to just show them that everything is a okay. Well, there was a notice saying that um, the way to the volcano is temporarily closed, but the allowed have dropped. So we want to know if it is okay now because we need to bring in some revenue in this country. We have to. We are going on a tour, cruising up to the Lasso Frey volcano in St. Vincent. I'm not afraid to show the tourists that we have some potholes as well that needs fixing. Everyone, every country does. What I am saying is that persons need to see the last of Fray Volcano. Here we had a small landslide. There was a burning out of lands there. 
taking a small tour this morning. We have to promote our island. We just read in an article that St. Vincent is down $10 million. We have to do something urgently. We need factories. We need to promote tourism. The last of red volcano just erupted and persons want to see it. So we have to give them a tour. Ministry of Tourism, we need you out here now. The island is hard, persons are crying out. You know they promised some persons $800 from the World Food Program. Those that didn't get an up to this day. They haven't received anything. Houses wasn't repaired. That was damaged from the last of red volcano. Right now we are in what, March? And still nothing. Um, and we need to do something. You see, there's a lot of farmlands, but there are persons who still haven't gone back into the lands. Look at this one, filled with ash. Look, look, still filled with ash. What can the farmers do? What is there to be done? They need help. They are trying, yes. We see some planting back, but too much ash. We need urgent help. Something has got to be done. You are alive now with St. Vincent untold stories. We gave you an update during the last of Red Volcano and we have to give you an update after. We have to show you what is actually going on. Support farmers are trying. The farmers are trying. But they need money a lot of money to, to get behind lands. Agriculture is not easy. Persons think that you can just go into the lands and just plant stuff. That is not possible. They have to get money up. They have to pay workers. They have to get the seedlings. Something has got to be done. These lands are far. They need transportation. I think that um, the regime should provide a transportation and money in the evenings for farmers who are entering these far areas going up to the last of Rebel country. We need to do something, we need to promote our island. Everybody is already in front and we are behind them. We have to promote St. Vincent. We are heading up to the trail to the last of Rebel King. You know, uh, a friend reached out to Antoine Stories and they linked us with a contract to help persons to go to Canada and we are in that process right now. Uh, you see, St. Vincent is so hard that a lot of Vincent chants are filled with doubt. So when I asked the guys to sign up the papers earlier and to get the passports and so on, they were filled with doubts and saying no, they think that it was impossible to, be, to get done. That is why the process is taking so long. Because the regime has failed them, and not only this regime, the previous regime, the, the, um, the past regime before, failed too. So it comes like a lot of incentions are filled with doubts so when you tell them something. It is hard for them to believe that you are going to help them. But uh, during the volcanic eruptions, they saw that untold stories came forward. We, 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 we teamed up with some youths from Chateaubillay, like Troy Prince and so on, and we got the work done. Uh, when they said that we should not enter into Chateaubillay, we went VIA uh, by boat from the Barrelly area and everyone saw that was true because they saw the pictures and the videos that we were in there. The videos with Carlos with the drum and so on is we did that video. We did a lot. Yeah, and everyone, everyone helped out. But right now the country is stagnant. We have to put in some work. Look. On a Sunday like this, this road should be filled with tourists. Nothing is going on. We can't even see farmers in the lands because the farmers are in need of support. Everyone is in need of help. Coming up to this trail, you know, I only saw three farmers and we are halfway up the journey. The farmers can't come out on the lands when nothing is being done. The farms are filled with ash. They need help. and give them a help or something too much ash look at these lands filled with ash they are trying yes look, look they are trying to plant back stuff but there's just too much ash to cope with yes for those who are now joining the live we are heading up to the last of Revolt, you know 
road and we are showing you that nothing is actually going on up here now unless untold stories are lava man and pg unite to bring the tourists up here and we promote the business then no one is actually coming up here because look this sunday we should be filled with buses come on we are seeing tourist ships coming in but not no no vehicles on this trail I haven't seen one vehicle and we are already halfway up the journey to the last of Red Volcano. And then they come on radio and saying, yes, progress is being done. What progress? Nothing. Persons are home hungry right now. There's an old saying that says, Ja help those who help themselves. Yes. But there needs to be institutions, there need to be factories set up. Not everyone has a university degree. Not everyone attains a skill because if everyone has a degree, no one would want to farm the lands. You think you can get persons with degrees to come out here and this hot sun right now? Be honest. Look, all these lands were working before the volcano erupted. And I was so impressed because we did videos long before it erupted. And I was impressed with these farmers out here because they were putting in a lot of work. But it seems like they came to a conclusion that the place is filled with too much ash and they are not getting any help. And when I say they are not getting help, you watch on social media, on Facebook, you would see persons belonging to the regime are also complaining. Yeah, they had the road gangs up here, but look, which road gangs? They said that they sent persons to clean up the road, look. Look. So if, if, if the road cleaners were up here, then why, why is it still filled with grass at the sides of the road? Was it a sham? Or was it that the regime cannot provide the jobs, so they sent them so they can get a little two weeks change, a $30 per day, a $40 per day? Is that enough to feed a family? Gas prices on the rise. A friend of mine went to buy a gas yesterday and they told her that the gas already moved from 45 to 48 without warning yeah they said that persons came out here to clean the ash which ash look here it's still filled with ash very disappointing where are those monies that came in from the last of Red volcano persons are saying that they need accountability and i told you before that persons are seeing what is going on that we, ha we got a sponsor from a friend in Canada that is going to help persons to go to Canada but some of the youths were filled with doubts and when we asked some of the youths to get their passport in orders they said that during the last of Red Volcano passport got misplaced and so on so extra money is now had to be provided for them to get those passports and they, send, they said that they would send persons out here to counsel people where are the counselors? Still filled with ash. No progress. This road should be filled today with tourists. You see, and they were against Lava Man. But Lava Man was actually doing a good thing. Because if not for him, sometimes no tourists is on this road. And then you say, you are, you are trying to appoint some unsung heroes. Heroes? <coughs> Look. place is stagnant when a youth uh, tries to create a dream in St. Vincent it is shattered it is closed down immediately by the regime because what the regime is trying to do is to try to get the persons to come and always beg them so when persons like Lava Man and Untold Story speak out it, it is a problem but here you see a problem big Sunday morning a lot of youths are sitting on the corner on roadsides and they can't be tour guides but because Lava Man Got, got a fight down, then the whole thing is in problems. Look, stagnant, not one vehicle. Not one. And the, yes, that is true. Vincentians need to stand up for their right, but they are not standing up. You want to tell me on this Sunday, not one, not one tourist bus is coming up here? Not one vehicle we have passed so far? Big Sunday. Nothing. Look, look, geothermal field project, look. I don't know what those are, if those are cement or if they are sun or what not. Uh, we have to end the live and resume the live because uh, the temperature is 
very yeah we have we have to we have to resume failed the geothermal project failed and they want to start back Yes, we, we, we are live again and um, we had a little mishap so we have to resume from where we left off. Um, persons joining the live can rejoin the, the top of the volcano and you can see here that a shed was damaged by ash. We have a shed that was damaged by ash. And up, up to this day we are in March and up to this day, this shed that is at, well we can say the main tourist site in St. Vincent and the Grenadines have not been repaired up to this day. Look at this. And we are in March. We had a little mishap so persons can rejoin the live now. Up to this there. Look at this. Failure absolute failure look i think that this is one of the equipment that they test the volcano with out there hmm. look it's an absolute it is an absolute failure look you want to tell me that the volcano erupted so long ago it is almost a year now and nothing has been done to repair this shed my goodness this is, this is this is the country that we are living in absolutely nothing is being done than a bunch of tax they come on on their their thing and they tell you this is being done that is being done so why isn't the shed being repaired at the main tourist site look absolutely no one is up here right now i see um a uh, Caribbean diplomat vehicle, another one as well. It says Taiwan. So I think that um, probably the Taiwan ambassador or somebody is up here. But you don't see any tourists. <laughs> you don't see any tourists at all. <clears throat> well, if they come, they can get some plum rose because the, the plum rose trees are ripening. See? fruits uh, I don't think that they are sweet though because when they say when too many hands goes on plum rose that they taste a little bit sour the side up to the last of the volcano uh, you can see the volcano from up there this is at the entrance going into the trail to the volcano they have a dustbin here. This dustbin doesn't look good right at the entrance though. It should be placed in a different position. Because if you want to take a nice pick of the entrance, that is the pick that you will get. This is the end, this is the trail leading up to the last of the volcano. Let us just take a little, a little small back here. No tourists at all. Big Sunday. They put down lava, man. You see they, they kill dreams in St. Vincent, you know. They put down lava, man, right? And right now, this area could have been filled with tourists. Huh? Lava man could have been bringing a lot of tourists here. Oh, look, no monies. The tourists could have been coming up to the point. Uh, there are some shops leading up to the Rabuka area. They could have been getting a lot of sale, using those monies to, to uh, send their children to school and to rotate back into the country, but absolutely nothing. So those shops now, on a Sunday, no, no business is going on for them. They have to wait until the chuckers come in from Monday to Friday. This is a nice view here. This is a beauty. They should be included in the seven wonders of the world. Yes, this is the trail heading into the Lasso River Volcano. We are not taking a tour today up to the volcano. So No tourists at all. Plus, there's no security to the 
street entrance there was a I saw one watchman at the geo terminal project site that they said they are going to start back and that is all no security whatsoever so if a tourist just come up and uh, their own they, they are not secured and this place is very lonely yeah very very lonely breeze right now is very cold but it is nice it is nice it's sunny today you can take a hike up to the volcano today it is not long if you go with somebody like lava man or untold stories or pj it will take you about say 45 minutes up 45 minutes down these people know the trail very well so you can book with lava man Or you can call the untold stories number four five four three five three six beautiful absolutely nothing is going on heading up to the last of revival when they want to tell me that and we say that we are promoting tourism i told you before that tourism cannot uh, do well unless we change the system itself now we are in a season where they are saying that we are going to have carnival i told you that if you understand tourism correctly that we have a french tourism season so the french would not take their vacation in the summer time that is why they are coming in when there is winter in places like france and that is why trinidad is having and when you tell people that uh, they begin to curse you but we are very backward here in this island because the carnival committee needs to look into sorting. Look, there are some bamboos crackling. No song, nothing. And we are promoting tourism. We need to train the tour guys as well to speak French so that they can market St. Vincent on a different level. Look, I, I am turning back right now. Not one tourist. Not one. The whole system needs to reshuffle. We need to get some young persons who studied tourism in places like America, England. Bring them in to help out the situation. You have to remember this is not like before. Things and times are changing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. First time you used to see the Rasta men walking up on these trails. But the Rasta men are not going to do the mountains like that anymore. They said that they would give them some amnesty or whatnot. But the bigger guys are planting and cultivating the trees down at the flats and hiring the rastaman now as servants hmm. absolutely nothing is going on welcome to saint vincent saint vincent is definitely not a real place anymore definitely not how can we come back we got so many monies from the Las of Red Volcano and we did not do anything with it. Persons are crying that their houses wasn't repaired. Nothing. Where are those monies? Absolutely nothing. You know, I was saying that along these, these these lines here they would have put like some trail something you could hold on with some tie back strings and so on like put pieces of board or bamboos going up there decorate it a little bit but nothing yet persons were saying that lava man wasn't a hero My. zero dollars zero revenue on a sunday look everything is done stagnant Well, folks, we are closing down the live now. We got to go. Yeah, we are just showing you that.
was saying that we are done $10 million and you see one of the reasons why we are done $10 million because Lava Man was doing something good and they were against him. You see, you see the reason why St. Vincent is in so many poverty, so much poverty, because when a youth tries to make a start, the regime doesn't like that. Well, it was a pleasure, my people. With that being said, I just want to big up the entire population in St. Vincent, the regional islands and the international countries who are always supporting and praying for us during these difficult times. And the times will continue to be difficult if we don't make a change. Definitely, I'm out. Yeah, um, what I am saying with Lava Man now, remember they were trying to arrest him every time he, he went up to the volcano. And they were saying, oh, Lava Man wasn't a hero. Uh, he didn't do anything important. But with, the, the, with what Lava Man did, you know, he made a tourist want to come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But no, they are not coming now because he's not at the forefront his picture should have been on every billboard across the island and when you were marketing the tourism industry he should have been on all the tourism media platforms so i'm out i'm going to end the live now